Now back inside of Odd Dubliner's Irish Pub and Restaurant, I have general manager here with me, David Copley. David, how are you doing today, bud? I'm doing very well indeed. Thank you much. Excellent, bud. I really appreciate you inviting us out here for Oktoberfest to test out the actual beer, uh, the drinks, and the food so we can get an authentic flavor and really share that with the rest of the residents of Long Beach. So uh, what do you have in store for us today as far as drinks are concerned? Because evidently you have a few samples for us to try out here. Uh, just a couple of samples of the multitude we have. Um, of course, you wouldn't be in an Irish pub without a pint of Guinness, a uh, perfect pint of Guinness, I should say. Pride and joy of what we do here. And one of the main reasons we're even in business, just to uh, make sure we get a proper pint of Guinness in front of every single person. And to couple that would be the traditional Irish pairing, uh, also known as a wee one, in this case a whiskey, a uh, very special whiskey, one of the ones we're really proud of coming out of Ireland. It's a Middleton Barry Crockett Reserve in honor of the uh, master distiller who retired a couple of years ago. And this was his um, single pot still that he put together before he left as a basically serving as a, a memory of his uh, skills over the course of 50 years. Excellent. And what did you say the nickname was for this first one here? A wee one, a pint and a wee one. A pint and a wee one. So how did it get its name as wee one? Are you familiar with that story? Yeah, I think that's small we call wee, so that's <laughs> small, a wee. So it's a wee one, excellent, I love it. Well, wee but strong, I take it, right? It's, uh, it's strong, but it's delicious. Smooth. Excellent smell to it, so let's give it a shot and see what we think. Ooh, that is very oaky, got some really good flavor back there. That's a uh, single pot still, brings out all the flavors. Uh, something that Ireland would not be perhaps known best for is a single pot still. Normally we do a blended, but this in particular is uh, all 100% pot still. I'm going to keep this one close to me. Please, <laughs> please do. Certainly. And now the ice cubes that you have aren't your typical ice cubes that you find at most bars now? Uh, no, probably not. Traditionally, one would normally not have ice cubes in it in Ireland, but yes, yeah, also not quite as warm as it is over here. Right, absolutely. The uh, problem with main ice cubes that we have is that it melts really fast, dilutes the flavor, kind of uh, shuts the whiskey down dilutes it, so we use uh, spheres, less surface area, kind of does the trick of cooling it down a little bit, but without the melt, without the, uh, you know, the dilution process, so works I, well for us. I love that simple process. You're not watering down my whiskey, but you're keeping it nice and chill for me. I like the heat, and I like being out here, but I also like my cold drinks to keep me cool when I'm indoors. Uh, I, you know, we figured, so uh, yeah, the sphere works great, cools it down, doesn't dilute it. Excellent. Now, I'm going to try my Guinness here. Um, I'm not often drinking a Guinness, but you know what? If I like it, then I'm sure most people will like it as well. So Best beer in the world. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and now I've got my beer stash. Absolutely. Stash as you, well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have to earn your beer stash. Since it's Oktoberfest, so you definitely have to earn your beer stash. This is an excellent beer. So, um, David, you also have some food for us to test out as well. Uh, I do have food. I think Julian's going to drop it over right now. Oh, oh excellent. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> now, you know, I do have to share some items. Um, actually, online on social media, I saw a couple interesting things about Odd Dubliners. I saw that, uh, first and foremost, uh, Odd Dubliners was voted as one of the top five Irish uh, pubs to actually visit, not just on St. Patrick's Day, but any day of the year in Thanks, Long Beach. Uh, that's correct. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, we, uh, we're very proud of that. We're lucky enough that we have really made a reputation for ourselves here over 11 years. Well known in L.A. for both our food, for a drink, and also for a lot of the music that we do. So, it, uh, yeah, we're, we're up there. That's very evident. You know, another gentleman who actually left, uh, left a comment on your social media page, he stated that this is not the best bar in Long Beach. He said this is the best bar on the planet. <laughs> I can't argue. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Anyone can see that on there. So here we go. Now we're moving over to the food. So uh, tell us a little bit about what you decided to share with us today and why you chose to share these dishes. Uh, well, I, I couldn't but not share the uh, fish and chip plate. I mean, you come to a pub, uh, whether it's October or not, it's kind of fish and chips. Fish and uh, chips is the way to go. That's the way to go. Uh, we're proud of ours. It's, uh, it's fresh haddock that we use, which is a traditional fish in Ireland that one would put in there. Uh, nice big filet, nicely battered, light crisp batter with some beer. Uh, homemade french fries, you know, we actually start off with real live potatoes in the back of the house here and cut them and blanch them and fry them and fry them again and, you know, so you're getting actual potatoes with your fish. Uh, and then uh, our marathon peas, which is something that's really traditional in Ireland that you rarely see here. It's uh, peas that are left to ripen on the vine a little longer and they're called marathon peas. So it's, uh, it's a classic traditional dish that I think we do extraordinarily well. Let's try one of these boys out. Uh, Let's Marathon. see. Marathon. Marathon peas. <laughs> They're not running you home. Mm. I'm not a huge pea lover, but these are actually delicious. They're very Fantastic. good. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Very full. So now let's try the fish and chips. I am definitely a fan of fish. Oh, just the way I like it. Mm. 
And that is excellent. Thanks, I'm going to have to share this video with all my friends. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And uh, double fried fries. You can't go wrong with double fries. You know, traditional way of cooking uh, fries from direct potatoes. So. Absolutely. Potatoes are your thing now. It's Irish, yeah. Potatoes, 16 ways. What can we say? <laughs> I love it. So let's move on over here. Now, what's the next dish you have for this us? This is a uh, plowman's plate. Some Branston pickle as a seasoning and some pickled uh, onion. So it's, uh, again, it's you know, a classic Irish dish, but fantastic, great flavors. Couple it with a little Kerrygold butter on the homemade brown bread that we have, and it's a winner. I love the sound. It's a beautiful display as well, and it looks absolutely delicious. So let's give it a quick shot. Please, please. <laughs> a little pungent blue cheese. Absolutely. I'm not afraid to eat with my hands, apparently. Yeah, please. <laughs> Wear a pop. Mm. That cheese is excellent. Mm, it's very good. I highly recommend ordering that when you come into all Dubliners. That's for uh, sure. It's a world-famous cheese. Now, David, here in Oktoberfest, um, I'm sure you have a few special events kind of lined up, but, I mean, you're an Irish pub, so people are just going to come flying through these doors throughout this month. Now, what time do the festivities actually begin, um, let's say, between October 29th through the 31st? Do you have a consistent schedule from what I've seen? Uh, we do have a pretty big schedule. I, think, you know, I guess no surprises at all culminates with the big Halloween party on the 31st. Uh, we've been doing it for, gosh, 11 years. Okay. That's how long we've been here. It's every Halloween we have a pretty crazy party, band playing, costume party. Uh, I think we've really kind of set ourselves apart in downtown, at least, in that we're, you know, we're well known. Everybody comes here. It's a really good fun, good times, Absolutely. crazy costumes. I mean, amazing costumes out of the world. And uh, in the meantime, the band's playing live music. There's no cover, and uh, people really enjoy it. Absolutely. And you have consistent uh, traditional Irish music playing uh, throughout the throughout the restaurant. You have live bands that actually do come out and perform that. Absolutely, we do live music seven days a week, ten o'clock every night. There's a band here. Uh, in fact, we double up on Sundays and Thursdays. We also have music at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Absolutely. Not necessarily always Irish. It, it varies. A lot of local bands, local Long Beach bands that feature during the weekdays. Oh, cool. So you mix it up as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Now, being across the street from the convention center, you evidently get crowds here seven nights a week. It's really not just a weekend thing for you guys. Uh, I guess a big heads up to the Long Beach Visitors Convention Bureau on this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Whenever there's a convention in town, I mean, we're, we're fortunately, we're right across the street. Uh, I think we fit a lot of the conventions kind of check boxes of what they're looking for, someplace comfortable that we can come and have a drink, a bite to eat, socialize, mingle with their other attendees, and uh, we're, yeah, we're fortunate, we're lucky. Perfect. So now when you get visitors that actually not just come in from other countries, but specifically from Ireland, when they walk into the doors here, are they satisfied as far as the food and the quality is concerned? Uh, I'd like to think so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I know, they, I know they chuckle a little bit at the menu every so often, but, uh, you know, hey, we're in Southern California, you got to play with the menu a bit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, they seem to be coming back nonetheless. Yeah, no, Irish people love it. They, uh, you know, it's funny, Irish people go out of their way for a pint of Guinness. Yeah, it's like, where can I get a good pint of Guinness? And uh, the pint here is great, so they're, they're happy with that. We have the traditional Irish fare, we have the stew, the shepherd's pie, the burgers, the steaks. Uh, and then, yeah, we do mingle it a little bit with some you know, Irish tacos here and there and <laughs> Irish banger wontons. But it's good, it's great food, it's traditional Irish fare. You see it in Ireland these days, a lot of the chefs have come back to Ireland after wandering around the world, traveling for years. And it, it's not out of the world to do what we're doing and playing with the food a little bit. Yeah, I love hearing that. I'm glad that it's continuing to grow and evolve and move from there. Yeah, I'd like to say we're, we're a contemporary Irish kitchen. You know, we're, we're following what they do in Ireland, and they're not just the same six or seven plates. Uh, no one's really shy to explore the food anymore. Everybody's happy to explore it a little bit and put their own twist to it, and that's what we do. No, I love the sound of that. You're continuing to grow and evolve for what people are looking for. That's Absolutely. really awesome to keep moving forward that Absolutely. way. Absolutely, yes. Very cool. Now, next time I come back in, David, we're going to have to try some more of this whiskey. Definitely another pint of Guinness. And uh, next time, maybe shepherd's pie. <laughs> How about that? For sure. We've yeah. got it. Yeah, it's my mom's recipe. You can't go wrong with it. Oh, your mom's recipe. Yeah, even better. Okay. She gave it to me uh, a long time ago, and uh, yeah, we still use it. Oh, that's incredible. David, I really appreciate you sharing the food and, and sharing all this awesome information and taking the time with us today. So uh, I wish you guys the best on Oktoberfest, and LB Daily will be back celebrating with you guys, that's for sure. Can't wait. Should be fun. Excellent. Thank you, David. <laughs>